Hello again, welcome to another edition of Crop Life Retail Week. Paul Shrimp here with Eric Spilgoy. Yes, back from New Orleans and the uh, Agricultural Retailers Association meeting. Awesome. Well, before I go on, I have to I have to confess, if I look funny or sound funny, it's because I have a new retainer I'm trying to uh, adjust to. I have this TMJ issue, which uh, my jaw is all completely out of whack. So I've, to I've offered it. to fix this, people. I really have. Well, you've tried not, a few times. He will not let <laughs> repeated beatings do not improve the job. It's, it's, it's I a, am kidding, everyone. Don't no, send he's me not. notes. He's not. Don't send he's me. completely serious. Anyway, I've got this thing stuck uh, on my lower jaw, and it's like, like there's like a, half the room for my tongue I'm supposed to. So I tend to trip over things a little bit, but we'll we'll do the best we can to manage just, this. Just don't talk as much. You should be fine. <laughs> no, no, what anyhow. You got what you got, sir. So, well, yeah, you, I was at home doing the stuff and, and home cooking, and you were out partying with the ARA people. Yes, actually, it was a fairly good meeting, Paul, uh, if I had to guess. I didn't hear a final attendance number. My apologies not having it, but uh, I would think it was slightly stronger than last year, which means it was probably around six, between six, seven hundred people. Uh, everyone who was there, Paul, seemed fairly positive. Uh, we're looking forward to putting 19 behind them going into 2020 with, uh, I guess you would call cautious optimism that the marketplace will perform well. Uh, and of course, that is contingent on several factors, whether cooperating, a trade deal perhaps getting done, uh, if with no one else, the uh, Canada and Mexico. Um, so, you know, Paul, basically the mood was, was pretty good. A uh, few highlights. Uh, our friend Tim McArdle from Brandt was uh, given the Distinguished Service Award from ARA. And then, Paul, our good friend Ron Farrell was honored with the Jack Eppersbacher Award. Um, Ron, of course, has been in a little bit poor health, was not there on site to uh, accept in person, but his daughter Kelly did, and uh, she uh, did a great job on his behalf. Yeah, two very deserving people. I know we, we, uh, lean on Tim or have leaned on Tim for a long time for yes. years for for perspective and he's always always quite honest with us about <laughs> what's going on in the market and willing to share and of course Ron's been my he's my uh, mentor for uh, really since I started yeah. I, uh, yours I and a mind. lot of other people absolutely so you know I uh, hopefully hopefully Ron you're out there and you're feeling feeling well I know he's not traveling very much although he's he's he's, he's we're still in contact. He's just uh, he's just not hitting the road quite as often right, right. now. But uh, but yeah, we wish you well and absolutely 100% deserved. Yep. And then I I know there was some news that you had been following coming out of that meeting because it well, there's place a, just before I got there. So yeah, there was a, a press conference for Egg Lake International, which is uh, which IAP is a part of. Right. I have all the countries, but I know Australia, Brazil um, are are involved uh, in a couple of other regions and. It's you know buying group of buying groups, and they really see themselves as being able to uh, uh, work with each other to kind of learn from each other initially, and and, and also uh, potentially put together con a larger consortium that can work with large manufacturers, either basics or generics, to uh, you know to buy product to get give access to um, access to those markets um, more broadly and, and more directly. And then also, you know, if there's, you know, contractor research, maybe they can get in on, you know, on the early stages of, of new products that are being released and research can, can occur in, you know, in four different regions, which is pretty powerful. I think everyone's trying to figure out a way to uh, sustain the business, uh, to gain scale um, uh, with, I guess, as, as little heartburn as possible. And this really, you know, get them getting together gives them um, gives them some interesting options for uh, for the both uh, for business and for working with partners. So yeah. good good stuff. Yeah, very good stuff. And again, Paul, one of the <clears throat> big topics of conversation at the meeting, of course, was consolidation across the board uh, with growers, with retailers, with suppliers. And uh, lo and behold, of course, just after I got back from the show this morning, there was a uh, press release sitting in my inbox. Uh, we've had another one, Paul. Uh, our friends at Growmark have decided to acquire the assets of Mid-Iowa Cooperative. Uh, this transaction should be closing here actually in the next week or two, uh, by mid-December. Uh, but again, the usual, Paul, uh, synergies, uh, better, better uh, supply opportunities for members of the cooperatives involved. Uh, and Paul, I didn't know much about Mid-Iowa Cooperative. Uh, on the CropLife 100, but 
according to their website, they uh, have 14 locations, and a lot of them deal with fuel and uh, grain as well as agronomy. Yep, interesting. There's not not many small uh, mid, mid 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 range cooperatives out there anymore. A lot no. of those really you know consolidated and getting into bigger players. So yeah, uh, yeah, and it's it's just very interesting that now you know with with the news of Simplot and Pinnacle, which is a big topic of conversation at ARA by the way, uh, you know, and other moves that have taken place, it, it's like all the top tier companies, those uh, you know the companies of over a billion dollars each, they've. They've all made some recent moves here in the last couple of weeks to uh, shore up their their marketplace shares, and uh, I suppose we'll probably, you know, since we've seen so much activity already announced here at the end of 2019, I imagine this will continue as we go into the spring. Yep, absolutely, very interesting. Yeah. So just to tease, next week, uh, if you tune in, you will see a special edition of Crop Life Retail Week. Uh, we'll just uh, you'll have to. Tune in to see for yourself, but we're planning something kind of special, uh, a little bit of a celebration. And if you don't like it, it's all his idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, okay. <laughs> well, that's, is that it then? Yeah, that's we it done? then. Okay, we are well, done. That's it for this edition of Crop Life Retail Week. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. If you have questions or comments about today's episode of Retail Week, contact us by email or Twitter, or type your message in the comment section below. Your feedback is important to us. We'll try our best to address your thoughts in next week's episode. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.